What is up guys, how's it going? In this video I'm going to be showing you guys three of my favorite quick launcher apps. Now these apps will basically help you to get into any other app wherever you are on the home screen. You can be browsing, you can be on YouTube, you can be writing a text anywhere you are. All you have to do is make a gesture and you can get into the next app or whatever app you want to get into that you have selected. Now two of those apps do that and one of it is a quick launcher app as well but that can only be accessed from within the home, home screen and where you put it. So the first app we're going to be look at, looking at is called Swaps. So I'll just go ahead and quickly launch the app. Now all these apps are free guys. They're available on the um, Google Play Store. So there you go, it's called Swap, so we'll quickly launch it. <clears throat> so when you enable it, the first thing you get is a notification that shows you that it's ena enabled on the top over here. Now you can also get rid of that, you can go ahead and make it transparent. Now although even, if, even when it's running, you won't really see the icon up there, but I normally like to know when it's active and when it's not. Now you can also check the um, DP like the width of the screen that it takes well I would say 6 is good I don't want it too high and then the height as well you can also check all of that I think 234 is good and if you want it to be accessed from the left or the right and then you, the gravity if it should be in center top or bottom now there are also a whole bunch of settings that you can do as you can see you can show all apps you can also unclick or check the recently used apps. You can also increase the amount of start apps that you want. So right now we'll just go ahead and try it. So there you go. Now regardless of wherever I am, maybe I'll just go ahead and open YouTube. <clears throat> and I just have to do the gesture and there you go it's right there so I can add my start apps I can increase this and then it shows my recent apps as you can see that was YouTube and swaps and then you can also get access to all your apps and whatever app you want to choose you can just choose it from right away so it's a real quick and fast and easy way on getting into the apps you want so right now we'll just go ahead and disable this now the second app that does maybe the same kind of thing I would say it's pretty much the same maybe a little different so let's go ahead and launch that app the app is called Glovebox it's for free as well it's available on the Google Play Store so we'll go ahead and launch it okay so right now it's turned off so we'll We'll turn it on. Now you can also configure it. The same old thing. You can configure the height, the size, and then if it should vibrate on touch, and then how the bar should be, if it should be from the left or to the right. Now most of them are easily come from the left or the right. You can't really access them from swiping on the bottom or the top. Now just from this, it you can also see the status bar notification if you want to leave it on or off so when it's on it doesn't really display an icon it's just there in the notification bar so we'll go ahead and try this as well oh I think it looks pretty bad maybe it's because of the settings I chose I don't know just go ahead and see if I can change it okay so I've totally made it disappear and oh no I, I'm, maybe I'm doing something wrong guys do bear with me I know it doesn't really have to show to be able to be accessible okay so I've just minimized it and there you go just tap from the side the good part is it gives you that kind of Ubuntu style if you're a fan of Ubuntu then you're probably going to like this so that's also a neat way and how to get into your apps 
Now the third and last one that we're going to be looking at is also installed on my phone. It's called Circle Launcher. Now it's not really an app, it's more of a widget. So we'll go ahead and install and put it on the desk on the home screen. So as you can see it comes in different sizes. It's over here. I think this is the smallest. It's one by one. And then there's one by two, two by one, two by two, and that's pretty much it. So we'll use one by one for now and we'll just drop it on the home screen. Now this also has a whole lot of tweaks that you can do as well. Like you can choose the kind of launcher you want to use. If you want it to show apps or show contacts, show bookmarks. And then you can select the apps you want to show. Let's say we'll just select maybe the browser, the calendar, and the camera. Just Chrome, just maybe Google Apps. And then you can go to more. Now you can change the size you can change the icon size, you can change the text size, you can change the text color you can put themes into it and then if you want to change the icon as well you can do that but there are only a set of preset icons that you have to use you can also select a custom icon but that requires you to purchase the paid version that is around a dollar or so it's not too expensive but yeah if you want to more go ahead and further personalize it then you can do that you can also save the kind of settings you want let's say if you deactivate it then you can back up or restore the kind of widget you had so right now we'll just go ahead and give it a try so it's right here for most people I know it doesn't look very <laughs> it's not very good looking but when you hit tap on it then it really displays your icon in a nice way M many people will argue that why can't you just put the icons together but this gives a nice circular feel to it and for you to be able to edit how this looks is it really also matters and also you can edit the text that's on it as well in case if you're someone who cares about personalization a lot so that's pretty much it guys just my three best apps that I use for quick launching and they're very useful if you like the video guys do give it a thumbs up this helps me a lot and if you subscribe, then that will help me even more. If you have any questions, any suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And be sure to follow me on Google Plus and Twitter for more info. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.